Mr. Barbie was nominated by the Mental Health Association of Essex County. Mr. Barbie has dedicated himself to helping others in his community. He began using his limo service to transport disabled children from their after school programs when no transportation was available. He uses his businesses to provide jobs to those in the community and has been a major asset to the Mental Health Association of Essex County Supportive Employment Program. He presently owns and operates six separate companies that affect over 30 households weekly. Through his business holdings, he has hired several, of, several individuals diagnosed with mental illness for a variety of jobs, including a videographer. He has identified creative, creative abilities in individuals and has provided one individual with the opportunity to further his education in media arts. He's provided experience to other individuals offering them internships at his prestige media productions so that they could build their resume. He has been a motivational role model to the men at Supportive Employment by speaking at our men's empowerment group and sharing his personal journey as well as, as, well as his entrepreneurial success. Mr. Barbie recently agreed to take on an active leadership role in reestablishing the Supportive Employment's Business Advisory Council. In the past, this committee has represented a collaborative of local business owners and professionals dedicated to developing employment opportunities for consumers and advocating for understanding and acceptance of the supportive employment model among prospective employers. Currently, a member of the Mental Health Association of Essex County Board of Directors, Mr. Barbie, was the catalyst behind a mental health public awareness campaign that will run on, an, on eight premier Comcast television channels beginning this month. He is also on the board of several local schools and the board of East Orange General Hospital. Mr. Barbie is a businessman, an EMT, a published author. He, his book, Clipped Wings, They Do Fly, is currently being made into a movie and the trailer is available online. I'd like to, it is my honor to present the 2013 Ambassador Award to Mr. William Michael Barbie. Let me just say this, uh, mental health is a reality and it's an uh, issue that isn't really brought to the forefront and many of us need to stand up as business owners. Um, I stand up and take a personal note because 28 years ago I was a candidate unfortunately but yet fortunate to meet a woman, Dr. Shelley Niederbeck, who was my, I'm a little nervous, but you know, you'll get over it. <laughs> she was my uh, forensic uh, psychotherapist. I had her for two years. Um, I was depressed, suicidal, um, emotionally uh, distraught. But I had to understand who I was as a man, as a person. So I had to go through my challenges, just like the rest of you. I had taken wrong choices as far as, as, as it pertained to me uh, seeking suicide as a resolution. Uh, today I stand strong. I'm known of six times. We work with 45 to 48 employees. All of the companies I started out of my little crazy head. Um, the beauty with that is I enjoy being crazy. <laughs> and I enjoy being different. Uh, one of the beauties as an entrepreneur, you dream things and you hear God's voice all different angles and you learn how to help and release yourself to others so that they can benefit. I met the Mental Health Association through Lynette and Francine Williams who were employees there and they brought over different candidates they wanted my company to interview. Normally I don't do interviews but because they gave me criteria I said, well, I'll do the interviews. Initially, I was hesitant with bringing in those uh, clients into our office because we have quite a few companies. We have a substance abuse clinic. We have transportation, limos, ambulance, school bus, charter bus, media, and then we own office buildings and some residential stuff. So I was a little hesitant on how they would fit in and how people would absorb. But what I looked at more importantly was that if I don't give up myself and make the example first with me, no one else would learn how to deal with people who may look or, and or sound different. So for me, I brought it in and it's been the best lesson for the past four years that I've ever had. 